Penn State took to the road for the first time in the 2011 season, traveling east to the home of the Philadelphia Eagles. It would be their third straight game away from Beaver Stadium, played in the home of an NFL team. The Temple Owls had put together a squad Joe Paterno had called the best Temple team he had coached against, and the Owls were ready to prove him right. Rob Bolton started at quarterback for the Nittany Lions, and they picked up a couple of first downs on the opening drive before it fizzled. Play action, Bolden hit as he throws by Whitehead, balls loose on the field, to fumble recovered by Penn State back at the 35-yard line, and now Penn State's faced with third down and a half acre. It's an incomplete pass, and the Nittany Lions will punt. Temple started left-handed quarterback Mike Girardi. Through the first two games, the Owls had piled up 83 points, and they were moving against Penn State's defense, too. His biggest play on the first drive came on third and seven when he and Deion Miller connected to convert. And the Nittany Lions were also having some penalty problems early on. Going for it all right there to the end zone. Contact. And here come the flags. Pass interference. Defense. It's Bernard Pierce up the middle. Touchdown, Temple. And then the Temple offense takes advantage of some penalties by Penn State uncharacteristic errors but what was characteristic was Penn State's defense angry at allowing a score on the first series of their energy into shutting down a Temple offense that had produced nearly 900 yards its first two games and a great job Michael Maudie is on the Butkus and Nagurski watch lists and the redshirt junior from Mandeville, Louisiana, makes that a loss of a yard. Throws and incomplete. Good coverage that time. He steps up. He throws over the middle. Incomplete. It was tough to tell whose home game it was. As usual, Nittany Nation traveled well. Penn State continued to use two quarterbacks, and when Matt McGloin entered in the second quarter, the Lions started to prowl. A third and five pass to Justin Brown kept the drive alive as Brandon Beecham and Silas Red started to get the ground game going. First and 10, Temple 17. Going play action fake. He sets, he waits, he delivers to the near corner for Moy. Up and incomplete. Gilday got his hand on it and knocked it away. Putting half, second and 10, Penn State Temple 17 from the eye with Smith in motion toward us. Deep back is Red and Silas has it. Red to the 15, Red to the 10, swings near side five. Touchdown, Penn State. Dallas ran a 17-yard run. Big block by Zornick for the Lions or an extra point away from a tie. Well, you needed to play like that. This time, Ray, just a crack off the right side, just a crease. He ended up going through that, the quick beat, bounces it outside, and gets a touchdown. Shotgun now, and Chester Stewart's the quarterback. They've changed up. Oh, look at that. Textbook tackle by Michael Motti. That'll be a loss of a couple. It's going to be third down and six coming up. Motti would lead Penn State in tackles, three times sending Temple to negative yardage plays. But late in the half, the Owls started to put together another scoring drive. The big play, a 15-yard run by Matt Brown. But the defense stiffened, and the Owls were forced to kick a 40-yard field goal. But the half wasn't quite over, as Penn State tried to answer in just seconds. McGloin back to pass, steps up long and deep near side for Derek Moy, makes the catch, 35. First down inside the 35 of the 33-yard line. Six seconds left in the half. They'll hurry to the line of scrimmage and spike it on the near hash. Good snap, put down, second. The kick is blocked. It is blocked on the turf. And Penn State was unable to tie this game up. Halftime and Temple leads at 10-7. A year ago at Beaver Stadium, Temple jumped to an early lead, but the Nittany Lions shut them out for three quarters in a come-from-behind win. This game was taking on a similar theme. Back he goes, straight drop, sets up, runs away. Spun around, drop, down he goes. Devin Still and Jordan Hill combined. Penn State's suffocating defense seemed to sense the game could rest in their hands. They not only stopped Temple, but they were hunting football as Tom Bradley's group created three turnovers in the second half. Sweeping their side, they string him out, down he goes. Stanley from here, fumbles the football, fumble the ball on the turf. Penn State recovered. Penn State's defense gets the big takeaway. Nick Suke recovers. Oh, this will be huge. Do great field position. That goes bold and short drop. They jump it and Griffin picks it off of the 50 yard line. Temple turns it around on back to back turn. The third quarter melted into the fourth, and the Nittany Lion defense continued to surround and smother Temple with passion and fury, looking to create a break that could win the game. 
steps up, delivers down, field intercepted by Kyle at the 50. Kyle 45, swings his way at the 40. That's a big play for the Penn State defense on a third and long. I thought Temple would run the football. They decided to go for the big play and got burned. The Nittany Lions went for the big play too, but again, they were turned away. He wants Derek Boyd, double coverage, and incomplete. McGloin hit Joe Suey on third down, but he caught the ball out of bounds. And their third field goal try of the day, under about fate. Wow. Temple has gotten their share of breaks. Today, none bigger than that one, clanking off the upright. And Penn State comes up empty after the interception. Boy, think of the points they have left on the field today. They were able to stop and get the pick on the last series. You need to get another stop or another interception here. To the middle of the field, and it is intercepted! What a play by Monty! And Penn State has no life! Now, there are some NFL scouts here, and I am sure one of the guys they came to watch was Monty, and he, did, he caught that like his dad used to catch him when his father was a wide receiver at Penn State. Make no mistake, it had been a tough afternoon for the offense, but they were determined to take advantage of the field position Monty's pick had given them. Rob Bolton found Davon Smith on a key third and seven. Nothing was going to stop them now as Bolton hit Allen Robinson on a second and 14 and twice on the drive they converted on fourth down. Underneath, that's short of the first down. There's Serba with the catch. He's a yard now shy of the mark. It'll be fourth down. Long yard for the first down on this play. They're putting it all on this one right here. They need to get to the 21 yard line. Ball it back. He'll throw for it. For Moy, first down, 15-yard line, down to the 12-yard line. He delivered a dart, and Moy moves the chains. First down, Penn State. Bolden put some zip on that last one. And off this is Brandon Beecham inside the 10, down to the 7. It's Beecham to his left. Beecham lowers the shoulder, moves the pile inside the 5 to the 4-yard line. Third down and a couple. Oh. Smith! Who got it? That's the key. And there you see the fourth down fist that comes up with its Penn State ball. Now you kick your field goal. They're running the play. Bolden under center. On fourth, a yard and a half. Here's the ball game right here. Beecham, right to the marker. He might have gotten it on the second effort. I think it was the third effort. And he got that first down. Wow. First and goal to one. Bolden. Zornich, right side, lowers the shoulder. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions take the with 2.42 to go. It was a drive of risk, a drive of guts, but mostly a drive of will. Now the defense, which had been nearly perfect since the opening series of the game, was not about to let it slip away. Well defended and complete. Michael Motti. And as he played a man's game at linebacker. And there's pressure. He's flushed. And he's down and throws the ball. And so is Temple. Temple hasn't beaten Penn State since before World War II. They've never beaten Joe Paterno. Those streaks stay alive because a team that didn't play its best refused to lose.